What's up? Honor number 26, I'm here to give you my Chikara Young Lions Cup 8 Night 3 DVD review. Overall, this show was very, very good, and I'll get right to why I thought that. You can see the star ratings down there, um, but I'll get right into why I gave the star ratings in a minute. But before I do that, um, my next three videos, including this one, so the two after this, are going to be on Chikara. Um, my review right here, then uh, I'm going to do an NYC Baltimore uh, weekend preview, which is this weekend, because Manami Toyota is on the shows, and without them building these shows really well, um, these two shows probably could beat Chikara Source Rex if everything delivers and be the best Chikara show this year, so I definitely want to give attention to that. Um, and then I'll give my live review of the Baltimore show. I will be at Bal the Baltimore show, not in, my, not in Brooklyn, I won't be there. But I will be in Baltimore um, to see Chikar Live for the second time, which I absolutely can't wait. So, alright, I, I believe the Baltimore show is actually called Eye to Eye. So that's the second person show I've been with the word I in it. I went to Eye of the Storm 2 in Manassas, Virginia last year uh, for Ring of Honor. So, alright, let's just get to this review. Um, show is very, very good. Started off with a great, a, a, a good opener between Dragon Gate's Kirtozawa versus Hell the Wicked. They just went out there, and you know, I, I was pretty sure these guys would have very good chemistry because Hal Wicked does have good chemistry with the Dragon Gate guys, and that he has faced in the past. These two were in the ring together during the uh, Comic Kaze USA uh, Dark Car Second Gun match at End of the Dragon, and they didn't really face each other at all. So I, I got, I was like to see this match, and they just put on a good wrestling match. The crowd, uh, this uh, this crowd was very small, so they had to have a lot more crowd interaction than you, even usually in Chikara that they even have. So it's very cool to see that in most of these matches, especially from uh, one team that I'll get to in a minute. Um, but, you know, a character that we could just, your basic stuff, um, except for how we could pull out a finisher that we hadn't seen in a while. Uh, and a character just was, looked great here. And I don't know, I don't know he, he's doing a good, very good tour of the U.S. I'm, I'm becoming a bigger fan of his by the day. Uh, three and, three and uh, a quarter. Then this is my first time seeing a guy named Oberion versus Mike Seidel, the younger brother of Evan Bourne in the WWE, or some of you know him, Matt Seidel. Um, just this match is only okay. Uh, Mike Seidel has put on better matches that I've seen. Um, I don't. I'm not really a fan of Oberion. I don't really know. He just. He just felt like something was missing when I was watching him. Um, maybe I just need to see more of him to get him more of a feel of who he is. But you know, I, I just. I, I just. Yeah, you know, I, I just didn't really like him. To be honest, um, you know, with, when Chikara does bring in all these guys from the Lions Cup, there are there are always some that you don't like, there are, and there are always some that you've never heard of that you really do like. Um, so you know, um, um, yeah. So sorry about that, but uh, I'm just trying to think about else about the match. You know, just uh, hopefully Mike said I'll put on a better match in one of the early, earlier shows than this. Or I think who did he face in the earlier round? I don't know. He faced Kate Yano, I believe. Um, and hopefully they put on a better match than this. Um, two stars only. Um, probably the worst match of the night because the next match I really I can't give a rating to. Um, and I'll explain why. Kate Yano versus Green End. This match was very submission based. Um, a lot of groundwork. It, the, the groundwork they had was very good. Um, well, not very good. It was it was all right. It was decent. Um, but when they started not doing groundwork, somewhere Green End got injured. Uh, injured his, I believe he uh, tore out his shoulder muscle or something like that. Something that looked pretty serious, and they had to stop the match. Um, it, it, you could tell it wasn't going to be the ending, uh, but you know they had to stop the match because of Green Ant's injury. Um, so I, I cannot give this a rating really. Uh, so just that's why you see NR no rating. So I really can't do that, and um, hopefully Green Ant has a speedy recovery because he is he he definitely is. Improving day by day, and Kate Yano, you know, I don't know where really Green Knight got injured, but hopefully, like, if, if Kate, it was Kate Yano's fault, hopefully he doesn't do that ever again. Uh, Kate Yano is from Battle Arts, the, uh, for those of you that are don't recognize him. Oberion, I don't know his promotion, and Med, Mike said I was kind of just built from the Med, from the Midwest. Um, Oberion, I think is from a Southwest promotion. Uh, I, I didn't recognize the name of it. Then we got to the BDK's Tursus versus uh, AIW's Greg Iron. Um, Greg Iron is a very good little guy, very over. Uh, he does a very good job playing the little guy role, I guess, especially a guy like Tursus. This match is very, very cool. 
um, for a big guy, little guy match. Didn't go all that long, but it was very, very entertaining. Um, there's nothing else much to it than that. Um, besides, well, besides the fact that um, you know, just the BDK. I just hate the BDK. They do they do an awesome job of making me hate them. Honestly, um, so yeah, you know, they they are. It is so entertaining, but I just want them to lose. You know, they're doing such an awesome job at that. Um, and I and it improves every show. Honestly, it's gonna hit some climax soon. It's just gonna be awesome. Um, cause like just Emmer Meyer is uh, on a roll, and um, yeah, you know, and everybody played a great part in the show that was on the show. I think every member was on the show at some capacity except for Ars. I don't know why he wasn't there, but oh well. Then we got to a match: the House of Truth versus 3.0. Um, this is the t- 3.0 is the team that just did so great with kept crowd interaction in, in this match. It was. It's just they usually do a good job, but they were up exceptional here. They, they did so good. Um, they had two points going into this match, so if they had won this match, which they did, sorry to ruin it, but and they go in and um, are facing Claudio and Eris for the Campeones de Parejas at the Baltimore show. So it's very cool. Both these teams to kind of have a good match or a great match either need a stipulation or a team that's better than them and can kind of pace them to have them be a good match. So, against each other, they kind of, you know, just put on an okay match. Um, and there was some involvement with Bryce Remsburg, but that was cool as well. So, just just a pretty decent match. Um, nothing else more to it than that, two and a half. Then we got to the two matches you're going to want to buy this DVD for, and we're both booked great. These are two amazingly booked matches. Um, first is the c- Countdown Showdown. Basically, it is a 30-man Royal Rumble, or a 30-man ba- uh, and woman battle royal, um, with uh, intervals instead of being 90 seconds like a Royal Royal Rumble, they are 30 seconds. So, it went kind of quick, all the intervals and stuff, but they, they got so many, they made so many people look strong here. They made um, Eddie Kingston look strong. They made Colin Delaney look strong. They made Johnny Gargano look strong. Grizzly Redwood, Brody Lee, um... Uh, I don't think there's really one person that was in the match longer or had a prominent role in the match that did not look strong. I mean, Quackenbush looked strong. Claudio, oh, uh, maybe except for Claudio, but the, he, the BDK as a whole kind of did look strong. Uh, they made the whole uh, Vakader thing um, uh, get more evident because it, it wasn't just um, Pinky Sanchez seeing him this time. So, you know, because he obviously was saw by what by at least Sugar Duncan did and everybody else in the ring. And, so, there's that, um, and just, this match is very entertaining to watch, uh, there's nothing else more to it than that, it, it's just, it, it's just, uh, it, it gets time, and it's just a very, very entertaining match, it's great, match of the night, uh, four stars. Then we get to the match to crown the new Young Lions Cup champion, uh, BDK's Lince Dorado versus Frightmare, this match is booked so amazing, um, because even from the outset, you have the BDK already uh, putting the numbers against Frightmare. Um, you have Emmer Meyer just on the mic. He just got the crowd already under the BDK, uh, under their skin just really quickly. It was so good. Um, you had Derek Zabato come out, and they call him the unaf- uh, Emmer Meyer introduced him as the uh, impartial and unbiased referee or something like that, Derek Zabato, which is the farthest thing from the truth, and they know that, but you know. Hey, they do a good job making me hate them. <laughs> you know. Um, then Frightmare came out, biggest pop he's ever gotten by far. Um, and he's kind of the hope for Chikara, the beginning of the hope for Chikara. Um, and just, just they booked this match so great for that reason. Just they took every shortcut in the book to try and um, like this is the best Zavato's ever done in that referee role. I mean, honestly, this is the best he's ever done. He pulled out some crap I'd never seen before, and you know they just made. Frightmare looks so much stronger, you know, and and, and you know I, I don't know where Lindsay is going to go from here because of, ha- of how of what they did after the after the match and stuff. So you know, just I don't want to ruin it for the people that haven't seen it, but just this is a very very good good all around match. Just three and three quarter stars. Just you know, this double main event made this show worthwhile. And 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 uh, I'm I'm saying this. I saw this show in one sitting. Uh, so I didn't just push play, and the next time I 
pushed anything on my computer, which I'm watching it on, um, was when the show was over to eject it. I mean, honestly, it was one sitting, you know, very easy to sit through a show. That's why, you know, with some of the lacking star ratings, you get a rating as high as 7.75. Um, so, you know, uh, this is the only show I did buy. So, uh, pick it up if you want it. Um, and I wasn't, I didn't want to watch it because uh, of the storylines in Chikora, and I was going to be at the next show in Baltimore. So I, I, I always wanted to do that. Why I bought the, that's why I bought the Cleveland and Detroit shows, or, uh, or Cleveland and Taylor, Michigan shows before I was at Chikora Tours Rex. So, you know. But, you know, 7.75, very good show. Pick it up. I'll see you guys later.